شيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Our dear respected and beloved Hazur, respected Amir Saab, UK, respected Imam Saab, all our respected and distinguished guests, my elders, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We begin the formal proceedings of this function by recitation of the Holy Quran. I would like to invite Abir Mahmud Saab to recite a portion of the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأن المساجد لله فلا تدعوا مع الله أحدا فلا تدعوا مع الله أحدا وأنه لما قام عبد الله وأنه لما قام عبد الله يدعوه كادوا يكونون كادوا يكونون عليه لبدا قل إنما أدعو ربي ولا أشرك به أحدا قل إني لا أملك لكم ضرا ولا رشدا جزاك الله The English translation of the verses just recited will now be delivered by Rahil Zakaria Saab. The verses recited before you are from the Holy Quran, chapter 72, verses 19 to 22. I seek refuge with Allah against the accursed Satan. 
in the name of Allah, most gracious, ever merciful. And all places of worship belong to Allah. So call not on anyone beside Allah. And when the servant of Allah stands up praying to him, they crowd upon him, well nigh stifling him to death. Say, I pray to my Lord only, and I associate no one with him. Say, I have no power to do you either harm or good. I am Dr. Mirza Azhar Sadiq. I am the president of the Walsall branch of the Amdia Muslim Association UK. I and my Jamaat have the honor of being your hosts this morning at Baitul Mukit. We are immensely honored, privileged, and deeply humbled by the blessed presence of His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed Saab, Khalifatul Masihul Khamis, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asil Aziz, the spiritual head of the Worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Association. And we extend our warmest, heartfelt welcome to His Holiness and to all our respected guests, our respected and distinguished guests. May I now first re request Mr. Rafiq Ahmed Hayat Saab, National Amir Saab UK, to kindly address us. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Beloved Hazur and respected guest, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Firstly, I would once again like to thank Hazur Akdas and Hazrat Begum Saba. Uh, we have a very uh, tiring schedule for Hazur Akdas, and this is now the fifth function that Hazur is attending for us, and we are very grateful. Today, inshallah, Azur will be doing the foundation stone ceremony for this mosque, which, as we've heard, Azur has named as Bethel Mukit. Even though the members of the Jamaat had been settled in Bolsa for over 40 years, the Jamaat was officially established 13 years ago with a tajneed of 75 members, and by the grace of Allah, this has now increased to 252. The Jamaat has been looking for a suitable property for many years and previously tried to purchase another property just outside the town center. But unfortunately, the local Muslim community campaigned against the proposed planning permission, which resulted in a refusal by the local authority. Currently, there are 20 non Ahmadi mosques in Walsall. In 2009, when we pursued planning permission on this site, once again, the local Muslim community tried their utmost to derail the process by organizing 800 petitions against the building of a mosque. On the day of the planning hearing, over 200 Muslims from the local mosque congregated outside the council chambers in protest, holding banners saying no to mosque. These were mullahs with long beards holding banners saying no to mosque. And this was well publicized in the local press. Despite the application being fully supported by the planning officers, the committee refused permission, and our architect, Mr. Window, mentioned to Dr. Azhar, our president, that the committee had not listened to a word of our presentation and that their decision was purely political. Despite this setback and with guidance from Hazur Akdas and his bless and prayers, the decision was successfully appealed and alhamdulillah, on the 9th of November, 2010, planning permission was granted. Following the consent, the site was purchased at a price of 250,000 pounds. And today, by the grace of Allah, this mosque, which is located in the heart of Walsall Town Center, uh, with very good access to public transport, inshallah, will be built. The overall site is 898 square meters, and the mosque will be built on two floors of approximately 520 square meters per floor. We are very blessed that Huzur Ekdas and Azad Begum Saiba are here to lay the foundation stone of Bethel Waqid, which inshallah will be another beautiful mosque for the Midland region. 
This project will also be undertaken by our own team under the supervision of Nasser Khan Saheb, and I would like to request special prayers for the success of this project. May Allah continue to bless our future endeavors, and may this be a beautiful mosque for this region. Jazakallah. Asalaamu Alaikum. It fills me now with the greatest of pleasure and I am truly very humbled and delighted to request our beloved Hazur, His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed Saab, Khalifatul Masihul Khamis, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asil Aziz, the spiritual head of the worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim Association, to kindly address the gathering. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, aaj aapko is ilaqe mein ek aur masjid ki buniyat ki tofik mil rahi hai. Allah Taala har lehasi wo barkat farmaye aur inshaAllah jalt ye mukammal ho aur fir inshaAllah uski opening hogi ista hoga. Ab in alfaz ke baad ham buniyat rakhenge masjid ki. और जब ये बुनियाद रखी जा रही हो तो सारे रब्बाना तो कबल में ना ना कहने तो समीर उलीम की तो आप पढ़ते रहें साथ साथ May I now request Hazrat Begum Saiba to please also lay a foundation stone. May I request Mr. Rafiq Ahmed Hayat Saab, National Amir UK, to lay a foundation stone. May I request Mr. Abdul Majid Tahir Saab, additional Wakil Ul Tabshir, to lay a foundation stone. May I request Mr. Atal Majib Rashid Saab, <laughs> Missionary in Charge UK, to please lay a foundation stone. <laughs> May I next call upon Mr. Nasir Khan Saab, Naib Amir UK and Jaydad Sek. May I request Dr. Muhammad Ashraf Saab, Regional Amir Midlands, to lay a foundation stone. May I request Abdul Ghaffar Saab, Missionary in Charge, Midlands, to lay a foundation stone. May I next call Mr. Abdul Basir Rehan Saab. May I next call Mr. Chaudhry Wasim Ahmed Saab, Sadr Majlis Ansarullah UK. May I next call Mr. Fahim Anwar Saab, Sadr Majlis Khudam Al Ahmadiyya UK. May I call Mr. Sayyid Imtiaz Ahmed Saab, Regional Nazim Ansarullah. <laughs> 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 
May I call Mr. Fahad Ashraf Saab, Regional Qaid Khudam al Amdiya. May I call Dr. Muhammad Zakriya Tahir Saab? May I call Mrs. Nasira Rahman Sahiba, Sadr Lajna Imala, UK? May I call Mrs. Iftikharu Nisa Sahiba, Regional Sadr Sahiba Lajna? May I call Mrs. Asifa Ahmed Sahiba? May I call Mrs. Nuzat Ahmed Sahiba, local Sadr Sahiba? May I, may I call Abir Mahmood, who is a Wakfinal? Sorry, sorry. May I call uh, Resham Masood, who is a Wakfinal? May I call Abir Mahmood, who is also a Wakfinal? And I, uh, Dr. Mirza Sadiq, President of the local Jamaat, will now lay the final foundation stone. <laughs> Beloved Hazur, this completes the laying of the foundation stones at Bayat al -Mukid.